Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my empty products for the past month and I'm just going to quickly run right through these and tell you with whether or not I would purchase them again and whether I, I like them. So pretty basic stuff here. I have Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I finished this up. I don't use this every day, although I have been trying to use it more often just to kind of prevent breakouts, but I usually use this when I do have a breakout just to make sure that my skin is really clean and I remove any excess makeup. So I'll use this after I take off all of my makeup with a little cotton round and I will definitely repurchase this. It's just something that I always have in my cabinet. The next thing is this is soft soap. This is the body wash that I use. It's juicy pomegranate and mango infusions and this is like my absolute favorite body wash. I usually have two different body washes in the shower. One that's like a more fruity scent and then one that's like a softer like cocoa butter or something like that. But this smells really good. It kind of smells citrusy almost so it kind of wakes you up in the morning and I just absolutely love the scent of this. So I will definitely repurchase that. Another thing that I used up was my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is the one that kind of suds up, which I like. I do have the, I think it's just like a, a cleanser. It's not the one that foams up. I just bought that one, but I think I'm probably going to go back to this one when I'm done with that. But it's just a really gentle face cleanser. Um, I use this in the morning when I don't have to remove any makeup, and it's just a nice, like, just a light cleanser to use in the morning. So I will definitely repurchase those products. Um, next I have a lotion and this is Grapesicle Beauty Rush Lotion from Victoria's Secret. And I have one more of these left I think and then I'm done purchasing these lotions. Um, they smell really nice but I just feel like I buy up so many because you can get like five for thirty dollars and then they just end up sitting and sometimes I just can't handle the scent. Like there's a couple that I really like but like this one for instance I was just like choking every time I used it I was just so done with it. So I'm glad I used it up and I never have to see that again. So I'm not going to repurchase that. The next thing I have here, um, this is the Chi 44 Iron Guard. I use the Tresemme pump just because it, it's like a nice spritz. Um, I'm probably going to keep the pump and maybe use it on something else. I will... I don't know if I'll repurchase this or not. I like it's a 10, so that's kind of been what I've been using. I'm not saying that this isn't a good product, but I'm probably going to stick to that one for a while. Although I would repurchase this if it was like if there was an, if they didn't have it's a 10, I would purchase this one. Okay, next is lotion. This is like a it's an SPF day lotion. It's from L'Oreal and I probably won't repurchase this. This does have like I don't know if it's like alpha hydroxies, but when I put it on like my neck and chest area, like my skin kind of sloughs off. So I think there is some sort of like antioxidants in this, um, but I probably won't repurchase this just because I have other ones that I need to use up. And next is my makeup primer. This is the Spackle Makeup Primer from Laura Geller, and this took me forever to use up. I do think this is a good one, but I really like my Makeup Forever HD primer, so I'm probably going to stick with that, but um, it was a really nice primer. The next thing I used up, this took me forever to get through. I've had this for like two years, and it's the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation in Punjab and I don't think that I'll repurchase this just because it's a little bit too matte for my skin. I do like matter foundations but this was just too matte and how I use this up was just basically mixing it with my other foundations um, but I probably will not ever repurchase that again. Another thing I used up was Out the Door from I'm not sure what the brand is, INM, Interna International Nail Manufacturers. It's just a top top coat, like a fast dry top coat. Um, I'll definitely repurchase this. This doesn't get as goopy as the Sesh Vite does, so um, it just seems like it's thinner and it does the same thing, so I really, really like this one. I'll definitely repurchase that. And then lastly, I have Orange Ginger Aromatherapy from Bath & Body Works, and this is just a sample. I do have a couple more samples. I think that I got these at a hotel or something, but this is my absolute favorite lotion from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good, so citrusy, and I use this like for hand lotion, not like all body, lo all over body lotion, but just for my hands, and it's just kind of like a pick-me-up. Smells so good. So that's it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.